to the bathroom once again. We're in the same bathroom we were in when we did the toilet. I'll link that down below there. Uh, today we're going to be replacing this light switch. This one. Before we get started, if anybody hasn't subscribed yet, go ahead and down there and hit the subscribe button for us. It helps us out a lot. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. If you have any questions or comments through the whole video, just leave them down below there. Um, this is actually a double double light switch. I don't know what exactly what you call it. There's one here and there's one on the other side of that wall over there. That one works fine. Um, when you walk into the bedroom, you can flip that one on and off. But this one, I will sh show you what it does. All right, so this is light switch you're gonna be replacing. Um, this is for the fan and this one is for the actual light. See so if you flip it. Sometimes it doesn't work. Let's see if I can get it to do it. See, you turn it off, nothing happens. If you really press it, see it's flickering. So something is definitely wrong. Um, like I said, once when this is like that and it's off, the one in the bedroom will not work. So we're gonna pull this cover off and see what's needed. As far as I can tell, the only tools we're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead, and the actual new light switch. Um, that's, that's as far as I can tell right now. If I need anything else, I will let you know. I'm gonna go down here and pull the cover off. Kind of spill the wax. If anybody else's wife is a lover of wax melters, leave a like. <laughs> this is actually a two-sided cover. You can see the split there, so you don't have to take everything off. Just this little flat head screw in the middle. Apparently it's a little longer than I thought it was. There we go. You don't want to lose that because I don't have another one. Take and just pop this off. Might be stuck to the other one a little bit. Well, actually it might be one all one, one piece. And yes, I will turn the power off in just a minute. So they get this cover off. There we go. There's another short, very tiny screw. I'm gonna put them where you won't lose them. There we go. And we got the you know, the cover snaps together, so you have to take it all take it off all at one say one piece. So there we go. And that is I have white, but the only color switch I could find was almond and black. So I got almond. So that's just what it's gonna have to be. All right, so now we're gonna go kill the power of the switch. Let's go to the breaker box. There you go. Did it shut the bedroom off too, or no? No, just uh, off the, the thing in here. The bathroom? Yeah. All right, I'm back. Just I'm back in a second. All right, I'm good. I will say, if you ever get a chance to really organize your breaker box, do it. You don't want to have a breaker box like this. Everything is just Barely written, scribbled, changed, all kind of stuff. So you just gotta kind of hunt and find the right ones. So back to the light switch. Now that we cut off all this, now that we cut off all the lights in there, we got to rig up some of our lighting from the studio to complete the job. All right, now we have set up some temporary lighting so we can see what we're doing. So now we're gonna take in this Phillips head on the bottom, and pull it out. And there'll be one on the top there, as you can see. Oh, the, okay, never mind, it doesn't come out. I forgot about that, yeah. Those won't come out, it's got a little little holder on the back of that. I'll just grab it like this, and pull it. Pull it out. All right, so now we're gonna make sure all the screws are the same on the new one. See, on this side we have a gold, a black, and a black. Let's open this switch up. And on this side, same as that one, we have a gold, black, and a black. On the other side, you have a gold, a gold, and a green. Same thing on that side. You got a gold, a gold, and a green. Which on this one, there's nothing on the green. We're going to pull everything off with this one and put it on this one. On this new one, you cannot take them things out. I tried, so I just bent them with my hands and we'll stick them around the post and tighten it down. I'm trying to do this one side at a time so I don't mix it up. I know there's probably an easier way to do this, but I'm gonna have to take this one off. It's getting in the way. So we're gonna bend this one over in here. Just had more wiring, good gosh. And I'll take that off right there. 
Okay, that one came all the way out. Oh, sorry guys. And then, oh, this one here is just a loop. That's interesting. I've never seen wiring like that before. <laughs> it's just a uh, loop in that. Okay. So we got this one, the middle one, and then this one is the top one. All right. So now, we got this one, which goes on the top one, like that. We'll tighten it down real quick, like that. And we'll try to wrap, kind of wire stick. I'm just gonna try to find some needle nose. So I do have some needle nose. They're huge, but they're needle nose, so I'm gonna use them. There we go, we're gonna wrap that around. That post. There we go. We'll take this, tighten it down. I'm kind of tightening as I go, so I don't forget. This one here, I imagine we just spread it apart and then stick it. That one is a pain in the butt. All right. Never seen wiring like that before. If anybody has, leave a comment down below. Pretty sure any electricians that are watching this are cringing right now. But it's okay. We're actually almost done. We got that one tight, that one, that one, that one tight. Now we're working on this other one over here. There's a little better angle, so we're going to loosen this up a little bit. Well, it's already loosened all the way out. We're going to take this and squeeze that one wire, that black one in, and then we'll get this red one in there with it. Let me take this, let me take this red one out for a minute, I guess. that there we go we're gonna push that in there that wire is fighting me I'll have to hold it in there like that and then tighten it down because it's wanting to come out there we go there we go now it's now it's wrapping around it there we go I imagine it doesn't need to be that tight but I'm just being safe than sorry so all right, now we got all of our connections done. We're gonna push it back in there and tighten it up. There we go. Tighten down there. Now we'll just set this on there and see what it looks like. I'm gonna back this one up just a little bit. The uh, the box is not level with the drywall that's in the hole, so back that out a few turns and then try to plate back on there. Come on. I think we're gonna leave it like that. What we'll do is we'll leave the cover off and then we'll go turn the power back on. Alright, I'm gonna leave y'all in here and you tell me when that light comes on. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. We got the light on now. I'm flipping the switch and it doesn't work. Uh, what the heck? Well, that was a fail. For some reason, the lights work with this thing, but they don't work with that switch, but the lights are on. Like, I'm flipping it, the lights are on. I don't, I don't know. That's why I'm not an electrician. So, I guess what I'm gonna do is put this one back in there and get an electrician to fix it. Because I'm not an electrician. I tried. 
uh, putting this back in there is going to be the exact reverse of taking it out. So this is the new switch. That's the light switch. This is the fan. Nothing, but the lights are still on. Explain that to me. If you have any ideas, uh, leave it in the comments down below. The one that I did get has a three pole, three way switch. Hmm. Maybe it needed to be a two way. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to put this one back in there. I'm not going to film it. I'll come back when I put this in there. All right, well, we got the other switch back in there. Um, this one here. As you can see, it's still, still kind of touchy about turning the light off. I don't know why it does that, so. If anybody watches this video and knows electrician work, or does electrician work, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, this is the switch I bought. Single pole, three-way combo switch. Which is this one. I mean, all the nuts on the thing lined up. Like you've seen in the video, the power was on. The switch didn't work at all. So, we're just going to keep this one until I can figure it out or I can get an electrician to come do it for me. Thanks for watching my fail video. Like I said, if you guys haven't subscribed to us yet, just go subscribe down below for us. Turn the bell on, you'll get notified when we post new videos, which is pretty regular, so... If you'd like to watch more fail videos, just go ahead and do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.